Right, so today we're going to look at energy and we're going to look at the different forms of energy and how energy is measured and some common misconceptions between um, students in grade 7. So energy is just work. Anything that works has got energy and we use forms of energy to describe what type of work the thing is doing. So the forms of energy, struggling to make a O, oh, there we go. So the forms of energy tell you what type of work something is doing. It is more of a describing work. So think of uh, the forms of energy almost like an adjective in language, in science language. So things to remember is that the forms of energy describes the work that you are seeing the system is doing or what you, yeah, the system is doing. Energy is not, and this is very important to understand, it is not a substance, it is not a thing that you can touch or see with your eyes, and my, a lot of common misconceptions I've found with my grade fours and grade fives and sixes is that they think energy is a thing, a physical form, and just want to sort that out quick that you know it's not. So the forms of energy, you have different types of work, and the first one we're going to look at is thermal energy. Now, anything that gives off or uses heat as input as is a thermal, I use this thermal energy. The second one is mechanical energy. Now, mechanical energy is something with moving parts, things that do work by using moving parts, machinery is called mechanical energy. Next one is chemical energy. Now, chemical energy is when particles react with each other or they change in a certain way, they do a work, then we release chemical energy. Next one, electrical energy. One very famous one, all of our appliances use electrical energy. And then the next one is sound energy. So we've got anything that gives off, makes sound waves, it gives off sound energy. And the last one we're going to look at is light energy. And this is quite a complex one, light energy, but these are the six that we use and look at in grade six when we speak about systems that will be coming up a bit later. And yeah, those are the things that we look at. So how are these measured? And I'm speaking about potential and kinetic energy. One thing that you need to understand is that potential energy and kinetic energy is not a form of energy. All of the forms of energy could either be potential or kinetic. So when I was younger, I thought that potential energy and kinetic energy is part of the forms of energy, but it's not. Potential energy is when something could do work. It has the potential to do something. So even in anything, electrical, thermal, mechanical, sound, chemical, or light, it could have potential energy, but it could also have kinetic energy. And these two are interchangeable. The more potential energy something has, the less kinetic. The more kinetic, the less potential. So they interchange between each other. So things to remember for this lesson. Energy is work things do. The forms describe the work. And energy is not a thing. It is not a substance that you can feel or touch or see. You see the effects of it, but you, it's not a thing. The forms of energy, like I've said, describes the work. When we look at six in grade seven, it's thermal. Anything that gives heat, uses heat, mechanical, moving parts, chemical particles that change, electrical is electrons that start flowing, sound, sound waves, and light, light waves. So that is those for the grade seven. And then they are all measured. They can either be potential or kinetic. And potential energy and kinetic energy is, so kinetic energy is, is working, 
when something is working or something is doing something or something is moving. And potential energy is when something could move or could work or could potentially do something. And then the last one to remember is that potential energy and kinetic energy is not a form of energy. And that is very important that you remember this. Those are basically how these forms of energy are measured. Right, so that's it for this video today. I hope this helps someone out that's struggling.